Hey guys, it's been a little while. Uh, we're just going to do a really quick comparison of some cameras today for the Sharkbite system. Um, they've released a new camera, the Runcam Micro HD Zero. And they sent me one to have a look at. So uh, we're just going to run a comparison of that, the original Runcam <clears throat> and the Foxier Digi, whatever it's called, side thing, the other Sharkbite camera. So uh, let's have a quick look at them physically and then we'll look at some images. So right, the first thing you can see is that it's uh, a bigger camera. It's not the nano size, it's micro or whatever they are. Um, it still fits fine in most frames. It's just going to be a little bit big for your average whoop. Uh, it's also a lot shorter as you can see um, than the original run cam, so the lens doesn't stick out as far. And as you'll see, the field of views are a tiny bit wider as well. That's about it for the physical side of things. So let's have a look at some images. So what I'm going to do is show you like 10 seconds from each camera, um, starting with the new camera, the, the new run cam. And we're just going to explore a variety of different scenarios. So the first one is sitting in a dark space, looking out into a light space. Um, second up, we've got the Foxeer. And lastly, we're going to have the original run cam um, that comes with the shark bite itself uh, and then i've just done like a quick three-way overlay so you can see the three of them at once um, and you can see the difference in field of view here for starters and there'll be a few other differences that become obvious as we look at different scenarios now i've just got um, sitting outside in the sun with the sun directly on the camera so you can see the sun's actually not blowing things out too much the dark areas are still pretty dark here this has got much more wide dynamic range, the uh, Fox here, but um, it's not blown out where the sun is. So you can see things, it's quite good. And then the original uh, run cam, a bit more lens flare here, but also a reasonably good picture. And there's the three of them side by side. So the first thing you can really see with the new camera is that it's, um, it's got a bit better resolution but it does not do the wide dynamic range the same way. So now we're sitting in the shade, not looking at the sun. It's just a classic outdoor um, scene with a bit of dark and light. Good pictures from all. Um, they obviously look quite different from each other due to the, the wide dynamic range and the way they've been applied. So the Foxeer and the original run cam both use the same sensor. Um, so the difference in the picture is just due to processing, which is quite interesting. The new camera, however, uses uh, a bigger sensor, and so that's why we're seeing an improved amount of detail. Although it's nothing insane, I have to say. Now we've got me uh, looking chuffed sitting indoors. Um, look at the LEDs above me. That's a bit of a giveaway as to the wide dynamic range and how that's working here. So you can see they look quite different between the three different cameras. And you guys can flick back and forth between all these different pictures and make up your own ideas about which one you like the best. Um, yeah, they're all fine to fly with and um, it just comes down to a matter of personal taste whether you like that wide dynamic range or not because it does make quite a big difference. I also haven't really tweaked any of these cameras. I've turned down the, um, the sharpness on the Fox here a little bit and that's it. So this is night time now, and this is very interesting, this one. The new camera looks quite nice. Um, this color still, and a bit of noise. The Foxy has gone to black and white. Also a bit of noise, but not too bad. And you can definitely fly by that. And um, that's a star up there, not a hot spot. So it's picking it up. This is the original run cam. Um, <clears throat> that speaks for itself. I don't think I'd be flying that one at night. Yeah, a bit yuck. And here's the three side by side. Last little tests we're going to do are flicking from dark to light and you can see how quickly they adjust. So this is taking a, a split second to do its little uh, exposure adjustment in your camera. It gets there, but um, you can see the, the digi sights getting there a little bit quicker. It's, uh, it's really messing with its wide dynamic range. You can see the shadows boost up there. It's quite interesting. And then the original run cam, which is probably responding the quickest of all of them, um, but it has that washed out look. 
So, you know, if you're racing with this, that might be what you want. Finally, uh, light to dark at night. Just one little quick pass of each. And it's worth noting it was really dark when I did this. Like, there's no moonlight, that's just starlight. So just finishing up with a little bit of uh, a flight in the park. Uh, you can compare this to my original shark bite review if you want some comparison footage. Uh, as you can see, things look pretty nice. Uh, they're a bit crunchy. You know, the, the dark to light, I found it a little bit hard to see at times um, in a way that maybe I didn't with the original camera. But um, these are pretty specific lighting conditions here. Overall, I'd say uh, we've got an improved picture quality here, and I think there's a lot that can be done tweaking this sensor with a bit more software and configurability. So it's a step in the right direction, definitely. Uh, so it's good to see we're getting more camera options for Shark Bite now, and uh, hopefully, we continue to see a bit more innovation in this space. The picture is really quite nice when you go up high and you have a look around. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sure you all have your own opinions as to what looks good, what doesn't look good. Um, feel free to not share them in the comments below because I don't really care as usual. Um, but you can also feel free to subscribe and I also don't care about that. Uh, we'll see you in the next video which will probably be another kayak video because it's been a while in between those. Meanwhile, you are welcome to continue to enjoy my extremely average Rusty flying. Catch ya.